Hello mga kaibigan! Ngayong araw, we have a very special review for you to help you out and make decisions as a consumer. Kami ay customers ng Globe Nuan. Kaya lang, pang ang service nila. Walang pakialam ang Globe sa customers nila. Kaya lumi pa kami sa PLDT. Naging maganda ang service nila hanggang ngayon. Ngayon, nakaka problema kami. So, Imabel, anong nangyari? Tell us the story. Ang nangyari ay, when I woke up in the morning, there was no internet, there was no dial tone for the landline. So, I had to call PLDT, but there's no way to call them. I had to buy a SIM card to enable me to call the customer service. I was able to talk to the staff and they said they don't know what the problem was yet and we'll have to wait for 72 hours. 72 hours, that's, yes. that's a long time, especially since so many people in this country make their living exactly. online, So many, which is great until something like exactly. this Exactly, and not only our line was having a problem, the entire building where we live was having the same experience, the same problem. And this is a huge building, just so exactly. you know. Exactly, like how many stories? 40, 40 floors this building. Right, so I try to wait, and then the following day, I called, but all I could hear was they're still checking it and I tried to talk to an agent, but there's no way. I tried all options, but they just don't seem to want to talk to the subscribers like us they having They give you problems. the runaround in other words. Yeah, I mean there was a voice recording you. saying that they're still checking it, but there's no option at all to talk to an operator or to an agent. So I decided to go to the branch nearby and... We can roll some of that footage now. So they don't even know what the problem is? She doesn't see anything on the system yet. And the whole building is out and other people have come in. No technicians came today even. But what about today? Did they come? Uh, no. No one came, no one today. came today. You waited for two hours actually. Right. But More the, than two hours. The lady that you, that you talked to, we're, this is a video where we're basically saying PLDT's customer service is lacking, but the lady you talked to, after waiting two hours, making a pregnant lady <laughs> wait for two hours, she did a fantastic job and by no means is it her fault. And I think the bottom line that we're saying is their customer service is lacking very much, right? but it's not actually the fault of any individual employees. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the actual company lacking. And even when we were there, they had signs talking about actually acknowledging that right now they're giving substandard service because they had some sort of department to labor dispute where the yes. employees basically, I think they want to make a living wage. They're kind of underpaid, which is funny. You hear about all these big companies like Amazon, the guy that owns Amazon is currently the richest man in the world, but the, the people working for him in the warehouses, they can't even make enough money to live off of it despite working long hours and working very hard. So it's, a, it's another example maybe of a big company and they don't really pay people maybe mm -hmm. what they should be paid enough to actually live and have a decent life. Mm -hmm. But that's another issue. They said that I think that they have 10 less 10,000 less technicians right now, which is funny because you know they, they must be saving a lot of money with 10,000 10, less people working for them doing their right. technician service. And these 10,000 people are the well trained people who have been working for the company for a long time. Although I heard from, it's either from the staff or someone else, another source, that these people are actually hired by a third party agency but they were expecting something in terms of compensation that they were not able to to receive so they opted to approach the department of labor yeah and uh what i was saying is basically that they have ten thousand less people working for them which is a huge number of, of people they must be saving a lot of money but we're not getting any break we pay the same amount exactly so maybe the company's saving money but they're not passing it along to us the consumers we still have to pay the same monthly thing right. which basically we're paying the, we're paying the same amount of money really more money considering you're getting less service so when you have a problem so I think the, the, the big takeaway from this 
um, ruling verdict is that PLDT, we've had a great time with them since switching from Globe. We've actually, things have been excellent until now. Everything's went smoothly until now we're finding out when you have a problem, they don't handle it very well. And hopefully, if they see this, hopefully this helps them improve their service and serve their customers a little bit better. And that's all I can say. Have you been happy with them until now? I have been happy with PLDT for the most for part. For the most part, compared to the previous um, internet service we had. Compared to Globe. Although there were a few times that we had no internet connection, even before we had this problem, um, we already had you know slow, intermittent internet connections every now and then. Actually, I was so glad because we got a call like a, last week, I think, telling us. Since you are a valued customer of PLDT, your internet speed will be upgraded to a higher speed. But when I, whenever I check speed test, it's, it doesn't even reach the original internet it's speed we got for this package. <laughs> it's been slower than yes. ever. Yes. So they could improve upon that yes. definitely, telling you you're getting faster internet when in fact you're getting slower internet. I think I would agree with what the staff in the office where we went said that it is something that's beyond their control from their level and they're hoping that the concerned officials or executives of the company will really address this very soon to provide that you know standard or great quality of service to subscribers like us so this was just our experience and hopefully by us sharing it it helps you out there are honest apologize more Pandaan, ito ang bansa mo. This is your country and I think you deserve the best. So go ahead, share your experiences, make comment ka down below, and salamat sa panood hanggang sa susunod.